Let me just come a little closer. There we go. Okay, the whiteboard. Don't look at me. Look at the whiteboard. This right here, friends, is the universe. I promise everything's gonna come together and you're gonna wanna hear this today. Within this universe, we as human beings pay attention to multiple things. Within the universe, we have stars, we have planets, we have people, animals, oh, plants, ha, huh? I meant planets. We also have plants, that's actually very true as well. What else do we got? We got food, animals, dirt, like there's various endless things, right, within the universe. Something else that's in the universe that grabs a lot of our attention is this small little thing over here called social media. Social media is a very small part of an enormous thing, right? We get all of that. We understand the concept of that. This right here is our attention. So very different than the universe, our attention. Within our attention, what do we pay attention to? Things like money, friends, food, work, religion, sports might be a little bit bigger maybe, traveling, relationships, like there's a million things that our attention is drawn towards. Where does social media fall in this? We're gonna do a red, color red for social media. Social media, right? We got social media, which grabs our attention as well too, where I feel like it's a lot bigger than most things. So if social media is taking up a lot of our attention in a day, what are we actually realistically paying attention to? This last drawing, I promise you guys, is social media. So within social media, what do we tend to see? Well, as of 2023, we see a lot of fakeness, Photoshop, nudity, thirst traps, steroids, eating disorders, shreddedness, traveling, motivational quotes, food porn, cat videos, dog videos, selfies, exercise videos, educational videos, or, or just content in general, educational content. That doesn't even begin to include the vast majority of everything, but in regards to your health and fitness related goals and the things that the algorithm thinks that you want to be seeing, the majority of the things that you will see are things on this list. It's not just things on this list in general. There is a hierarchy of importance as to what you will more frequently see in comparison to what you will see less frequently. And those are gonna be things a little bit higher up on this circle. So things like Photoshop, nudity, thirst traps, peds, eating disorder, shreddedness, abs, you know, all of these things you start to see less and less of as you get lower and lower on this list. So what does all of this mean? What the heck does any of this have to do with your health and fitness related goals? What a lot of people don't realize is that our mindset is a major contributor to whether or not we are gonna be successful when it comes to body composition changes, whether or not you're trying to lean down just for the summer or maybe a trip to Mexico, whether or not you're trying to compete in a bodybuilding competition, maybe you're trying to build some muscle right now. All of these things, regardless of what your external goals are, they come down to how strong your mindset is. And if all we are doing is constantly being bombarded with things that we are seeing on social media, it can be very easy to get caught up in the comparison game. Don't get me wrong, I am in no way shitting on social media. I think that it is a beautiful tool, but often people forget that it should be nothing more than a tool. As you all know, I've been there myself, right? You'll sit on social media, you'll go check something that you were trying to be actually intentional with, maybe it was gonna provide you with some value, and then you get caught down the rabbit hole, and then 30 minutes have gone by and you realize that you're staring at this random girl's butt on Instagram. How the heck did I get here? Social media is designed to be this addictive. So you're not the only one who's going through this. Quite often, you guys, a lot of things that I share in my videos are messages and reminders that I need for myself that I feel like, hey, if this is gonna help me, it's probably gonna help somebody else. But it's so important to understand how social media works. 
you know, the algorithm is going to favor more popular, sexy content. Unfortunately, with the evolution of apps and Photoshop and even now AI, there is a lot of fake content and fake photos, even fake videos now on social media because these people, these individuals who are utilizing these tools, they get paid to ensure that you are watching them. They get paid for your attention. So it's becoming to be a very competitive market to the point where a lot of influencers and content creators are reaching a point of desperation to still grab your attention and you know sometimes looking more shredded than what they actually might look like in real life is going to make that difference for them it's very unfortunate i can't remember what the stat was or the age range but the biggest career that most individuals in high school want to be when they grow up now is an influencer it's absolutely insane. And again, don't get me wrong, social media can be a beautiful way for people to live that life where they're their own boss and they have that financial freedom, the freedom to travel, all of these different positive benefits that come with it. But unfortunately, a lot of people are you know, cheating the system in a way in order to ensure that they still have your attention. So because of this, the things that you are seeing and being bombarded with constantly to the point where it's making you feel like you're not enough and you're not doing enough and you don't look good enough and your progress isn't enough, it's not real. It is not real. If you take a second today and pay attention to your surroundings and look around when you go to the gym, look around when you go to the mall, look around when you go to the grocery store, how many people actually look like these people that you're comparing yourself to on social media? It's very rare and quite often, especially if you're an individual who takes care of themselves constantly, if you're going to the gym regularly, if you make an effort to eat healthy, when you actually compare yourself to the people in the real world, probably you look a lot better than they do. So it's so important, you guys, to just not get caught up in that comparison game on social media because it is going to cripple you mentally to the point where you say, what's the point? I'm never gonna look like this, this individual, so why am I even bothering to go to the gym? Why am I even bothering to try to track my food? And we get into this, what's the point mentality if I'm never gonna look like that? Nobody is gonna ever look like that, nor should you want to look like that. At the end of the day, if you are an individual who goes to the gym three to five days a week, you're healthy as fuck. If you're an individual who takes the time to eat whole nutrient dense foods, limits their processed foods, limits alcohol consumption, doesn't do drugs, makes an effort to get in an adequate amount of cardio, you are healthy as fuck. You are doing better than the majority of people. So don't let the fakeness of social media get in your head to think that you're not enough because you are. You know, there's this other thing that goes around right now with fitness coaches that really just grinds my gears. It's when fitness coaches are telling you why you're not seeing results. The reason you're not seeing results is because you're paying attention to other people online who are telling you you're not seeing results. That's it, and it's getting in your head. Mindset is everything. It is, so protect that voice in your head. Pay attention to content that is gonna actually amp you up, that's actually gonna educate you and motivate you versus making you feel like you're doing everything wrong versus making you feel like you're gonna be a complete failure and everything that you're trying to implement right now is for nothing. It's not true. So really taking the time, and this is something that I've done a lot this past year, and that's just auditing my following. Yes, of course, even like on Instagram, you go through the explore page. I don't like half of this content and I still see some content that I don't want to be seeing, like, you know, the half naked girl showing their butt constantly. I get it, whatever, not my jam, not my thing. I never like or follow content like that. And yet I always see it on my explore page. It's frustrating. It's not a perfect system. So really taking that time to audit your following, to make sure that you're only following accounts that add value, that are actually gonna help contribute to you accomplishing your long-term goal. If you can do that, and then you can be as consistent as you already probably have been with your nutrition habits, with your gym habits, with your exercise, all of those different things, the next course of action, my friends, is patience giving it an adequate amount of time because getting to where you want to be you're never really gonna get there 
you're always gonna want more. And that's just how we are built as human beings. This journey is endless. We always want more. So finding a way to just enjoy the process and enjoy what you're currently doing while seeing the results that you're looking for and being patient and consistent and all of these fluff words that actually mean something, making that effort is the next course of action, but protect your mindset up here. And to protect your mindset, you have to be mindful of what you are paying attention to. Because if you're going down that rabbit hole of comparison all day long, what thoughts are you generating? Your thoughts generate emotions, your emotions generate action. And if all you are thinking each day is like, oh, that person looks so good, I wish I looked like that. Oh, that person has a nice butt, I wish my butt looked like that. Oh, maybe I'm not doing enough. Oh, maybe I should start doing what she's doing. Is my coach telling me to do the wrong things? Am I not doing enough? Should I take more supplements? Oh my goodness, I suck, what's the point? I'm never gonna look like that, I quit, I fail. What's the point? That's what happens when we don't protect that inner voice in our head because that generates negative thoughts, negative thoughts generate negative emotions, negative emotions generate negative actions, which ultimately is gonna lead us to quit. Mindset, my friends, it's everything.